Microsoft announcing a new partnership with the AFL-CIO. Our Eamon Javers is in D.C. with the latest. Morning, Eamon. Good morning, Carl. It's a big labor deal. It's happening uh, just in the room off to my left here at AFL-CIO headquarters in Washington, D.C. Microsoft and the labor organization announcing a new partnership here that they say is designed to focus on worker rights and responsibilities in this new era of AI. The whole fear of massive unemployment related to AI is what they're addressing here uh, in the room. Specifically, the two organizations say there are three elements to this partnership. Here's what they say that they're going to do uh, in the coming months and years. They're going to share AI information between labor leaders and workers. So that env envisions a series of uh, educational seminars by Microsoft uh, officials to labor organizers to help them understand the direction that AI is going. They're going to incorporate worker perspectives and expertise, they say, in the development of AI technology at Microsoft. So that envisions you know, real feedback from workers who are using AI to the people who are developing the product as well. And then they're also going to talk about helping to shape public policy that supports the technology skills and needs of frontline workers. So that is the overall policy environment in this country uh, in terms of AI and workers. And obviously, guys, we are coming off of a very big year for big labor. A couple of uh, labor leaders in the room here for this announcement. UAW's Sean Fain is here coming off of a big win uh, for his workers. Also, some representatives of SAG-AFTRA are in the room today as well in the wake of that Hollywood writer's strike. So uh, there's a lot of uh, mo mobility here behind big labor going into the end of 2023 in this era of low unemployment. They're, just, they're determined now to make sure that that era of low unemployment stays in place, even in the era of AI. Guys, back over to you. So thinking back to Senator Schumer's uh, confab on AI a few weeks ago where they invited Randy Weingarten of the Teachers Union, and I can't uh, decide whether this is uh, somewhat theatrical or if they're actually trying to help labor drive policy long term. Well, I think it's both. I mean, Liz Schuler, the president of AFL-CIO, said she was also at that uh, AI confab up on Capitol Hill, along with Elon Musk and all the other leading lights of AI. Uh, for Microsoft, look, this does ha help in terms of publicity around its AI efforts to say we are not trying to kill jobs. We're trying to work with labor. But, you know, there is a theatrical element to all of these. There's a performative aspect to it, and we're seeing some of that in the other room right now.